Welcome to Episode Whisper. Today, we bring you 12 huge Hollyoaks spoilers for next week. Next week, Vicky and Sienna join forces. Dylan struggles after his split with Lucas. And Tony finds himself in hot water with Diane. Stay with us as we break down everything happening in the village between October 21st and 25th. And if you're craving even more drama, check out our collection of 15 spoiler pictures from next week's episodes. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any juicy spoilers. First, Stee is suspicious Stee searches online for details about James's death and confides in Leela, believing his late husband might still be alive. Leela reassures him that it's just his mind playing tricks, urging him to focus on Lucas instead. Later, Joel informs the family that Stee is back on track and no longer believes James is alive. 2. Marie and Tony sneak around Tony and Marie have another secret date, but Tony is surprised when Marie kisses him. He feels uncomfortable about being in the dog flat with her, even though he is now divorced, and Marie is concerned that their relationship is too soon. The pair share some tea and cake, and there is great chemistry between them. Tony and Marie enjoy each other's company, until Diane arrives home early from her driving test. 3. Jez wants justice. From prison, Sienna is desperate to see Vicky. Meanwhile, Donnie arrives home, and discovers that Vicky and Robbie are back together. As he also finds out about the events of Sienna and Ethan's wedding, Jez blames Vicky for what happened, and tells Donnie that his daughter was previously pregnant with Ethan's baby. Jez is determined to find out who has set up Sienna. 4. Diane makes a discovery. As Diane reveals that she passed her driving test, Marie is hiding in the flat. Tony gets caught out as Diane finds a woman's earring amongst the cake crumbs. Tony lies to keep the affair under wraps and says he had a drink with a random woman. Diane is furious and she later calls friend Marie for some advice. 5. Vicky and Sienna team up Vicky and Donnie make a trip to see Sienna in prison. And things get interesting when Sienna shifts the conversation to Ethan clearly worried about how he's holding up after losing his brother Dave. There's still a lot of tension in the air, but Vicky opens up a bit, saying she doesn't really buy into the idea that Sienna would have pushed Ethan to his death. That little bit of trust hints there might be more going on beneath the surface. With Vicky starting to doubt the rumours, and Sienna still focused on Ethan's well-being, there's a chance these two might find some common ground. Could we see them team up and form an unexpected alliance? This visit might just be the start of something bigger. Only time will tell. 6. Dylan creates distance. Dylan's got a lot on his plate after breaking things off with Lucas. All because he's hiding a huge secret. He's the father of Leah's baby. He figured the only way to keep Lucas from finding out was to end the relationship. But it's clear that walking away isn't as easy as he thought. Even though he's trying to keep his distance, the feelings he still has for Lucas are making it harder than ever to stick to the plan. Next week, Dylan's struggle gets real as he keeps pulling back. Even though deep down he doesn't want to. You can tell he's torn between doing what he thinks is right and what his heart is screaming for. It's a tough spot. Trying to protect his secret while not wanting to hurt Lucas any more than he already has. How long can he keep this up before everything starts to unravel? Seventh Stee finds evidence Stee is still determined to find out the truth about James, and he is shocked to find his husband's tie on the love boat. He concludes that Rex is keeping James captive. When confronted, Rex says that he kept the tie for Stee but he is unable to explain the mysterious phone call. Stay then smashes up the love boat as Joel tries to stop the carnage. 8. Donnie plans a break in Mizbar's over the moon planning her wedding with Donnie. But there's this constant worry nagging her. Money. She's trying to be practical about the whole thing. But Donnie's not having it. He's determined to make sure she has the best day of her life, no matter what it takes. It's sweet. But you can tell the financial pressure is starting to weigh on him. Meanwhile, Things heat up between Donnie and Robbie when they clash over Vicky. There's definitely more to their tension than meets the eye, and it soon becomes clear that Robbie's got some kind of leverage over Donnie. The two aren't just budding heads. There's a power dynamic at play, and Robbie's not afraid to use it. Feeling the pinch, Donnie ends up confiding in Robbie about his money struggles, hoping for a way out. That's when Robbie comes up with a risky idea. Stage a break-in and claim the insurance to solve the financial mess. It's a desperate plan, but Donnie's in a tight spot. Will he go along with it? Or could this whole thing backfire big time? 9. Rex is keeping secrets. Rex takes another intriguing phone call where he says that Stee has become a problem. Later in the garage, Stay spots him packing up tools and a balaclava. Stay continues to search for clues about James and believes that something is wrong. Elsewhere, Grace catches Rex doing dodgy dealings in the garage. She is concerned that if Robbie finds out, he will go to social services about Lexi's care. Grace decides to confront Robbie, who says he is losing faith in Rex. 
Marie has second thoughts Diane's world feels like it's falling apart after what she just found out, and it hits her so hard that she shuts Tony out completely when they cross paths at the dog. In a moment of vulnerability, she turns to her ex-husband and opens up about her regrets, admitting that her drinking played a big role in their breakup. It's one of those raw conversations where all the old emotions come rushing back, making things more complicated than she expected. Meanwhile, Marie catches sight of Diane and her ex getting a little too close for comfort, and it clearly stirs something in her. She can't help but wonder what's really going on, and it leaves her with a lot to think about. Sensing things might be slipping through his fingers, Tony later seeks advice from Darren, hoping to figure out how to navigate the mess. But with Marie watching everything unfold, it's anyone's guess what decision she'll M11. Vicky gets injured, Vicky's guilt is eating her up, knowing that Sienna is sitting in prison because of the scheme she and Robbie cooked up. The weight of it all is starting to get to her, and it's clear that this isn't how things were supposed to go. She's stuck between feeling responsible and wondering if there's any way to make things right. Meanwhile, the pressure's on for Robbie, especially when Rex refuses to go through with the break-in at the Malik's house, leaving Robbie no choice but to handle it himself. But things take a horrible turn when the break-in goes sideways, and Robbie ends up accidentally hurting Vicky in the process. What started as a desperate plan suddenly turns into a nightmare, with Vicky rushed to the hospital suffering from a head injury. Now, Robbie's not only facing the fallout from the break-in, but also dealing with the guilt of putting Vicky in harm's way. It's a mess that could spiral out of control fast, and the question is, how much more damage will be done before anyone can set things right? 12. Darren struggles Darren's feeling the weight of it all as he tries to figure out how to handle the situation with Frankie and JJ. JJ's test results are just around the corner, and the waiting is making things even harder for Darren. When he visits JJ in the hospital, it's an emotional moment. JJ lays it all out, admitting how much he misses being with his family, which only adds to Darren's struggle. He wants to be there for his son, but life's been throwing curveballs from every direction. Darren knows that love alone isn't going to fix everything, so he gives JJ a bit of tough love, hoping it'll push him in the right direction. He tells JJ that he's counting on him to keep fighting and get through his battle with leukemia, but there's more at stake. Frankie's situation is also weighing on him, and Darren makes it clear that while JJ's recovery is the top priority, he also wants Frankie to have her day in court and get the justice she deserves. It's a tough spot for Darren. He's trying to juggle his role as a father and his sense of right and wrong, all while making sure both JJ and Frankie get the support they need. The balance between wanting to protect his son and fighting for justice isn't easy, and with so many emotions involved, it feels like there's no perfect solution. But Darren's determined to make it work, even if it means making some difficult choices along the way. And that's a wrap on the 12 huge Hollyoaks spoilers for next week. It looks like the drama isn't slowing down anytime soon. Alliances are shifting, secrets are bubbling to the surface, and relationships are on the verge of exploding. From Vicky's guilt to Darren's struggle, it's going to be a wild ride in the village next week, and we're here for every twist and turn. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Marshall Mastery Hub so you never miss a spoiler. Don't forget to ring that bell to stay updated with all the latest episodes. Got thoughts on what's about to go down? Drop them in the comments. We'd love to hear your predictions. And if you can't get enough of the drama, check out our spoiler picture collection for next week's episodes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.